Welcome Scorpio. This is Renee and welcome back. Scorpio, this is your reading. We're going to take a look at the energies and get your message. So if this reading resonates, like and subscribe. If it doesn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. And let's get into it. What's going on with Scorpio? Someone rising in Venus. Spirit giving you messages for Scorpio. Look at Scorpio's energies. Okay, so we have worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Okay, so something is worth waiting for. We also have chemistry. So the, there may be a strong magnetic chemistry, a strong attraction with someone. Um, you may feel a pull, like someone is really tugging at your heartstrings, right? There's this energy to really get to know somebody a little bit better. Get to know their energy, their likes, their dislikes. You know, just being around someone can have this magnetic pull, this magnetic chemistry that can be, you know, this basic chemistry. It can also be very sexual. You could be very, very attracted to somebody so much to where you're thinking about them all the time. This could actually be your energy or their energy. You know, they could be thinking about you. Thinking about how beautiful Scorpio is, how handsome, how attractive, right? So let's get some more energy for Scorpio. What's going on? We have bright ideas. So Archangel Urel, yes, your idea is divinely guided. Please take action to bring your idea to fruition. So there may be a lot of things that you're thinking about, right? You're trying to gain a spiritual understanding of certain things. With Archangel Raziel, I am bringing you uh, esocentric information and symbols and helping you understand spiritual truths. So you may be seeing synchronicities, symbols, some kind of visions that are uh, maybe gaining you clarity in your situation, right? Um, but I feel, I feel like you're, you're looking for some kind of spiritual truth. You know, you may be getting more spiritual at this time. You may be into the healing stones or meditation, um, just raising your vibration, right? Um, but I feel like you or this person is very spiritual. Okay. We have flexible. The number 19 may be very significant. It may be your birthday, maybe their birthday. Um, you may meet each other on the 19th, right? But I feel like there's, there's a need to be flexible. It may have to do with your schedules. It may have to do with your lifestyle. There may be some things that you need to adjust or readjust. But uh, I feel like there's a need to be flexible in the situation. We also have deep knowing, the number 43. Okay, so that's more or less on a spiritual level again, right? I feel like you are in this way of just knowing if a situation feels right, if you should accept some kind of job proposal, you know, where you'll be moving. I feel like you're just in, in this deep ability of knowing if something feels good, if something feels right, right? Whether or not you're going to pursue it. Okay, so let's get into the tarot. Give me some messages for Scorpio. What is Scorpio's current energy? Okay, the hangman. Yeah, deep in thought. Yeah, you're changing your perspectives. You may be taking a lot of time on your own. You may be feeling kind of stuck. Deep in your thoughts. 
you know there's something that you're soul searching right but I feel like you you're definitely you're in your head about about a lot of things Scorpio what's going on in the past give me a message for the past please past energies okay so we have the four of swords and the knight of wands so here's the thing i feel like you're putting a lot of focus on yourself scorpio you may be healing you may be just taking better care of yourself taking better care of your health and now you're ready to take action. You may be, you know, trying to lose weight, trying to gain weight, however this works for you, to go on a trip, go on some adventure that you had planned. You know, th there may be some kind of action that you're taking. You may be in a wedding. You may have some kind of reunion that you're going to. But I feel like there's a lot of focus on yourself. There's a lot of putting a lot of love and rejuvenation into your current life right give me some messages for scorpio's near future messages for scorpio's near future please okay the chariot moving finding your path and the justice card Definitely, definitely, okay, you're finding what's going to be successful for you, you know, you may be trying to be seen, trying to be noticed, and I feel like people are doing that, um, because I, I, I see that you're moving, okay, you may be literally moving, Scorpio, or having plans to move, plans to travel, but this is also going on the right path for your right ordeal, okay? Taking the right actions to get the right outcome, okay? And I feel like you're, you're soul searching on how you're going to do that. You know, you're making your plans. But the chariot card is also about having faith that you're on the right path right and the justice card is also something being very fair finding balance you're getting your justice in a situation you know there's balance there's equal you're getting that good karma right so I, I feel like, you know, you're, you're finding what makes you happy. You may be literally moving to find this, Scorpio, but I feel like, you know, the, the universe has placed you on a path and you're following that path. You're taking that journey because you know it's going to lead you into the right direction and bring you to the right outcome. Okay, so tell me more about this Four of Swords, Knight of Wands. Tell me more about this Four of Swords, Knight of Wands. The Nine of Wands and the Page of Swords. I feel like Scorpio, you know, you've raised the bar so high. You're standing guard. You've raised your defenses. You know, um, you've built up those walls. But I feel like someone is very curious about those walls that you built. You know, the, it, it's a mystery. It's something that they want to know more about. If this is a person coming in, I feel like... They're very intrigued by you. They're wondering why these walls are built so high. You know, why Scorpio is not willing to let anyone tear down these walls. You know, you're like a...
like an accomplishment, right? What can I do? What can I say to just lower these, these walls just a little bit? It's like a game, okay? Yeah, the Five of Pentacles. Someone wants your attention. They find you very attractive. They find you very attractive, Scorpio. But they feel like nothing's not enough. Like they're they're being pushed away. Like their their actions towards you aren't even being noticed. Right? But this person finds you as the empress. They find you as someone with great quality, with great success, someone who can have whatever they desire and work very hard for it, you know? Um, but I feel like they, they're kind of feeling like, well, maybe I'm just not good enough, you know? Someone, someone wants to give you their truth. Someone has a lot to say to you, Scorpio. They have a lot of things to tell you. They want to get this off of their chest. There's a breakthrough coming forward, some kind of new beginning. Um, maybe this is you being able to openly talk about where you've been, what you've overcome, and where you think you're going. Right? But I feel like this is truth. And I feel like this, this truth is going to be, you know, very sharp, very, um, demanding to be understood, right? Tell me more about this chariot and this justice card. Tell me more about this chariot and this justice card. The Seven of Wands, the Two of Cups, the High Priestess, and the Ten of Wands. Okay, and we have the Moon on the bottom. So something definitely is changing. Something is being resolved. Um, you're, you're finally seeing what needs to be revealed, right? Um, the, the mysteries are finally being told. Okay, and now look at this. With the Chariot and the Justice card, we have the Seven of Wands and the Lovers. The Ten of Wands and the High Priestess, right? So I, I feel like, Scorpio, here's the thing. Scorpio's only going to let down, down their guards. They're only going to let down their guards for something that's real, something that's vibrant, something that is true and honest, okay? Some, a soulmate connection, okay? And I feel like what's not clear now is going to be very clear because you're going to get a better understanding because you're... What, what's done in the dark will come to light, right? We see this curtain starting to come down. So something behind her is being revealed, is being told. You know, you, you can now notice the truth. So it's safe for you to slowly let down your guard, right? Because I feel like not all love is going to hurt. There are going to be hurtful things in every situation, but there is a soulmate out there looking for you just like you're looking for them. Right, Scorpio? And um, now I feel like with this Ten of Wands energy, I feel like you're carrying a lot, but you're holding on to a lot of old emotions, past hurts, past grief, past energies that you're carrying that need to be released. I'm seeing this as everything that you've gone through with past, right? With any past love, past jobs. You're holding on to it all. You're not willing to let it go. 
you know maybe a few things have fell along the way but you're still carrying it you're still carrying it it's time to release it it's time to let it go it's time to move away from the past energy to find happiness that's the only way you're going to find this this love this soulmate because look there's someone here who finds you very attractive you know they're willing to do the work to kind of ease down those walls we see that with the seven of wands energy you know but you're still holding them up you're like okay i'll let him down for a moment but as soon as you say something out of pocket those walls go right back up i'm carrying my burdens all over again right give me more messages for scorpio the knight of pentacles the ace of wands yeah look at this we have two aces here there's two new beginnings two new beginnings right uh, we have something that's that's very valuable on the table something someone is coming with an offer that's very solid you know um this could be an offer that you see as very appealing but it's also giving you a new fire a new emotion new reasons to take action right this is new inspiration coming forward okay and i feel like you know if you're still carrying these burdens scorpio you're gonna you're gonna totally not be looking in this person's direction because you, you look your sight your sight is being obscured by all of those past emotions you're not able to see what's ahead of you okay you're not able to see what's coming and i feel like spirit is letting you know you know this is what's coming open your eyes lay down some of those burdens and see this coming towards you right tell me about this hangman energy give me a message for this hangman please the seven of cups the page of cups okay <clears throat> i feel like with this hangman energy it's time to get a different perspective not everything that glitters is gold that's true there are illusions there are true gifts that can be offered to you but you have to understand and know the difference there's people out there that will offer you the world that won't deliver but there's also people who will offer you the world and will try their hardest to deliver right you just have to know the difference and i feel like you know who's ever is coming forward for you scorpio they're coming with an open heart they're coming to deliver a message to, you know, have this new beginning. This is this is new. This is the page. This is just beginning, right? But they're willing to open their heart and to share themselves, what they have with you. They're a very fair person. They're very uh, giving, okay? They want to give you as much as you give them. They want this to be equal, right and i feel like <clears throat> i feel like scorpio you're ready for a new cycle you know you're ready for these old experiences to end and something new to begin because you've learned those lessons you've you've achieved those goals you know this is something that's ending that's going to be a bright new beginning okay you just have to take the chance you know um get help from friends if you need to right be willing to make changes to accept the changes okay let's go ahead and get some clarity for scorpio what is the outcome scorpio give me an outcome some advice for scorpio give me some advice please some advice for Scorpio. Ooh, ooh. Okay. <clears throat> we have the Queen of Swords, the Fool, the Nine of Pentacles, and the 
five of pentacles so i'm gonna take one more and the sun right wow okay that one wanted to come out as well okay so he, here's your advice scorpio your advice is to demand your respect demand your understanding demand that you're being heard speak your truth and you know say what you mean mean what you say right but you have to demand respect in order to be respected and i feel like by getting your understanding out there and by truly you know not accepting anything less you are off to a new beginning right that's when this new beginning appears now we have the the nine of pentacles so we already know that you're very independent you're very capable of doing things out on your own but someone feels like you don't have to right you don't have to go it alone even though you're very capable to do anything and everything on your own you don't have to right i feel like there's a lot of happiness in this new beginning you have three aces here ace of swords ace of wands and ace of pentacles so there's three new beginnings here you have to choose your happiness right and i feel like your happiness is someplace within these new beginnings but it's also beginning with that mind shift beginning with that hangman making the decisions to change your perspective change the way you see yourself and your values right view yourself as someone who's very capable very understanding demand the respect that you deserve know your worth right and i feel like you you're finding value in yourself with this new beginning and you are going to be very prosperous you know this is a gift being offered to you and it's going to make you very happy very abundant this could also be new money coming in for you you know um some kind of new independence something that's going to bring value and assets this could also be good health and good family right happy home happy life right so I feel like there's a lot of beautiful things coming in for you. Scorpio, you just have to be willing to change your, your perspective. Change the way you see things. You know, bring forward those bright new ideas. Be flexible. Okay? Because what you want is worth waiting for. Okay? It's worth taking that time out to really envision and see. Okay? Let's go ahead and get a timeline. For Scorpio. <clears throat> Let's get a timeline for Scorpio. Okay, we have ask again with confidence and certainly and certainty of what you want. Time frame is within four months. So gain the confidence. Ask your angels. Ask your higher power. You know, do it with confidence. Put your intention out there with confidence and assertiveness. You know, this is what I want. This is what I'm working for. This is what I demand. You know, it's okay to be bold. It's okay to be daring. You know, you, you, you're not being out of bounds by doing that. You know, you're putting more self-respect to yourself, more self-love. And that's exactly what, you know... People love to see that you're confident, that you put yourself first, you put your needs first. You know, it's good to care for other people. It's good to take care of people, but you also have to take care of yourself, right? Okay, let's get an angel card for Scorpio. Okay, we have the obsidian, grounding, shielding. So there's, some, there's a need to be grounded here. There's a need for you to shield yourself, of course. 
but to not raise your wall so high that nothing, not even light can get in, right? We also have astral travel. So there's a vital force in action. You know, it may be time for you to dream big and really listen to your dreams because I feel like things are speaking to you through your dreams. You may be having visions or very lucid dreams that are coming through of certain events. And I feel like it's giving you information. You may be receiving downloads, right? So take notice of that. If you need to start a dream journal, start writing down these things as soon as you wake up. Okay, let's get some monology cards. Okay, we have a time for healing. Okay, so you, you're going through this healing time. And we have a time to give rather than take. That's that balance. That's that Six of Pentacles energy. Okay. At the bottom, you have the end of a tough cycle approaches. So even if you're still going through it, even if you're, you know, still on that journey of discovery, I feel like you're, you're towards the end of it, Scorpio. You're reaching a resolution. Okay, let's get an angel number for Scorpio. Angel number for Scorpio, please. Okay, so we have 1414 possibilities. Building strong foundations creates stability and welcomes in possibilities. All possibilities exist and are amplified when gratitude is felt for the foundations that are in place. Okay, your affirmation, I am grateful for all that is and all that will be. I trust in the possibilities of what I desire or something greater. Beautiful. So, your affirmation, 1414 possibilities. Okay, Scorpio, this is your reading. I hope this helps you. Um, if this resonates with you, please like and subscribe, share. If, if it doesn't resonate, take a look at your other placements. And my beautiful Scorpio, until your next reading, love and light.